Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. The alarming risk of death associated with the use of prescribed narcotic drugs, particularly OxyContin, is highlighted in a study published in the latest issue of the Canadian Medical Association Journal. Here is some information about narcotic drugs and OxyContin. Also known as opioid drugs, narcotics are commonly prescribed pain-relieving drugs. Narcotics are dangerous because their side effects can include depression of breathing and a decrease in consciousness. OxyContin, also known as oxycodone, is a particularly potent and popular narcotic. To evaluate the impact of narcotic drugs on death rates in Ontario, researchers from St. Michael's Hospital and the Institute for Clinical Evaluative Sciences, or ICES, in Toronto reviewed over 7,000 files from the coroner's office and linked these with provincial data on physician visits and medication prescribing. They also analyzed data on the sales of prescription narcotics that were collected by a private company. The researchers focused their evaluation on the period from 1991 to present. Based on their analysis, prescriptions of OxyContin have increased by more than 850 percent during the study period. This drug represented one-third of the narcotic prescriptions written in 2006 in Ontario. Since this drug began to be covered by provincial drug plans in 2000, deaths associated with its use have increased five-fold. In fact, deaths from use of prescribed narcotics far outstrip those associated with heroin use. Overall, 54% of deaths associated with prescribed narcotics were considered to be accidental. Most of those whose deaths were related to the use of prescribed narcotic drugs had visited a doctor and received a prescription for that drug in the previous month. We had a chance to speak with Dr. Irfan Dalla, the principal investigator of this study who provided some further insight. So I think, you know, the take-home message for patients is that prescription painkillers can have very serious side effects. So these drugs should only be taken when it's clear that the benefits outweigh the risks. Um, and they should only be taken in the way that they're prescribed by the physician and recommended by the pharmacist. Probably the most important result and the results that many physicians might find surprising is just the sheer number of deaths related to prescription opioids. So towards the end of our study, uh, each year there were between three and 400 deaths in Ontario from prescription opioids. Uh, so to put that in context, uh, that's about twice as many deaths as we would see from HIV AIDS. Um, this year in Ontario so far, there have been about 100 deaths from H1N1. Today's research highlights the increased risk associated with prescribed narcotic drugs in general and OxyContin in particular. Both physicians and patients need to be better informed about the dangers of these drugs. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.